and FEU took that one, but it was a good fight that Ateneo put up. But we're talking more about the games that Ateneo played. Chiki and Noreen, you know who I bumped into earlier this afternoon in Jesu Church? It was none other than Co Capitania. Particularly the Ateneo side have really overachieved. Mm -hmm. gotten where people were doubting they would get to because of the absence of the loss of the likes of uh, Vanny Gandler and Faith Nisperos, but because of Sergio, uh, Coach Sergio's program and the way these girls have responded in time for the second round. And really, the hopes are high for them to possibly make it into the top four. Well, there is. You're right. That's the word. There is hope. She likes the taller blockers. <laughs> She's unfazed and she just goes through them. Oh, combination attack works. Just Batalio. That was uh, which we did talk about her, you know, earlier. And what's nice is she's not just offense, she's defense. So she's an all-around player for FPU. There's aiming for Buena there. Asha will get her first turn on offense. Good dig by Jer. And an even smarter play. That's the first of, I'm sure, many one-two plays we're going to. So easy. Yeah. It's like, okay, I can score a point like this. Yeah. And obviously, you are covering between USD and Adamson. Ilang beses, dalawang beses. Kala nila patay na. They celebrated the ball, pero hindi pa. And that almost happened there. But uh, yun, patay yung ball sa lubong ng bayan. Well, we did talk about Bakanke in the, you know, the pre-game. You know, that's a problem. You see that slow-mo. That's a problem if you don't have eyes on your opponents because once you feed it and then you're just surprised of the blocker's hand, there's nothing you can do. Sit still. Yeah. So many things to think about while you're playing the game, actually. That one gets uh, away. Well in it, only three points behind FEU. Yeah, that's good, sir. Makanke getting it, asking for it, getting it. Targeted the cross because she got blocked once, right? When she went for the line. So she's milking that cross attack. So the adjustments also coming from the offensive side. Like adjusting. In between two players to cause some confusion. Oh, but uh, Tim Obaldo, I mean, she knows when to pull that trick out of her hat. When Monagagulo na dito sa FEU, let's just make a Six points that Ateneo needs to make up at this crucial point of the third set. And another point here, Magic Bunot, si Papa coming in. Uh, the opposite player scoring two in a row. Well, I wouldn't put it at Magic Bunot because any Bunot. <laughs> oh, right now, here's the live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience UAP games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to the panel. And if you're a player, particularly the one, if you have a coach that believes in you, so. And then first ball. Minor stop there. Makanke oh. again. That time, Buena couldn't oh keep God. it in play. Just by the Makanke. Too much for Buena to handle. No, and I love the way you, when, the way she's playing. Oh, we know what happened last time. Jules Pataglia was at the serve. Hmm. So I think they will want the side out as quickly as she can because this is the rotation that did that and it got uh, FEU with straight points. She had the gout in front. This is a familiar front row. Yeah. You know, we saw that last season. Asis, Obaldo.